Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly update video. Uh, just going to show you what I got this week again. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in for another weekly update. Uh, this week was a great week for Diecast for me. Um, got a lot of stuff. So without further ado, um, of course, uh, first off, thanks again, Frank, Frank's kids, for uh, sending me a box that I got this week. Uh, just a little recap on some of that. This cool bus. It's limited to like 480, 92, 492 pieces. Really, really sweet. Thank you, Frank. Um, that diorama. Boom. That's pretty cool, too. I'm going to crack that later in some other video. Um, this cool thing. It's pretty cool. Um, and then, uh, of course, the Daytona Super. So I got that out of that box. And I just wanted to crack a couple of things. This Diablo. I'm going to crack that to put it in my Diablo collection. So, yeah, I sent Frank a box a while back. And this was his, uh, I guess, return fire trade box, whatever you want to call it. That is sweet. Thank you very much. And uh, this is just some of the some of the notable stuff from that, if you haven't watched that video. Uh, Cobra. I'm going to crack this guy. I love these Hot Wheels classics paint on them is pretty cool so there's that it's pretty neat so got that um, I picked up a case of auto world which I already did a video on and didn't get an ultra red in it but uh, whatever if you watch that got that first that had the Christine in it in a Chevelle so and then this we're going to have to open because it came like that, and I don't really need a packaged car looking like that. So we're going to go ahead and free the piece on this Auto World. So yeah, I got a lot of mail this week, um, and then ended up being able to find a lot of stuff in stores too. So hurry up and do that. Auto World is just the best. Opening hood. This is a really cool casting. One of the few like modern vehicles that they did. So that's pretty cool. I have that loose. So there's that. And then uh, let's see here. Let's go on to... I found some uh, D-Case cars at Toys R Us this morning. Um, super early in the morning. There was tons of people there looking for Hatchimals. And uh, I just went right to the Hot Wheels and uh, started digging through this bin. And it turned out it was fresh and it was decased, so I was pretty excited. Um, scored a couple of these regular T-Hunt Camaros. Most of this we're going to go through pretty quick here. Um, scored two Supers. And I scored two Super Toyota off-road trucks and then promptly traded one to a local guy for a Ford GT Super. So now I finally have this Ford GT Super. I've been, uh, I opened so many boxes of N and never was able to find one of these. And so I was happy. I found two of these Toyotas today and then was able to trade one real quick uh, for a Ford GT. So pretty sweet to a local guy. Thank you very much for that. And uh, that's awesome. So got those. Of course, found the regular. So two Supers added to the collection. Um just going to show you some other cars from the case, the Miata. Um, got these new models, the, the, these two weird ones, and the uh, roller toaster. Just in case I decide to pick back up the casting review series, which I'm still kind of undecided if I'm going to continue that for 2017. I don't really know. Those videos don't get a whole lot of views, and um, they were fun to do, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue to do them. Uh, so, got the, picked up the Time of Taxi. Of course, we got the Custom 240Z. So, this is pretty sweet. Uh, picked up a few of these. One of them, this is weird, it's got like a fingerprint on it. So, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if you call that an error or what, just, uh, but it's got a fingerprint on it, so that's kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, let's crack one of these. Picked up a few of them. 
probably make a custom or two out of it. It's pretty sweet. It's nice, really plain looking casting kind of, but it really looks nice. The white looks really great. The detail in the back is really nice. So it's a pretty sweet piece. Um, I like it. Uh, so there's that. The 55 Chevy. Crack one of those real quick. This is just sweet. Really nice looking. Matte black. Flames. Looks really sweet. Picked up the 68 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. Some flamage. Crack that guy open. There's that. Pretty sweet uh, tampo job on this one. Looks really nice. There's a lot of really nice cars in the D case. Uh, this Toyota. Another Toyota truck. Go ahead and crack that. There's that guy. Looks pretty sweet. I dig this casting. It's pretty cool. Uh, NSX. Who doesn't like that? In yellow. Not sure if I really dig the uh, tampo scheme on this one, but it looks okay. So there's that. There's the 69 Dodge Charger with Moon Eyes tampos. Quickly crack those. Sorry for taking a ton of time cracking a bunch of new main lines, but I was pretty excited to find these today. And uh, was really pumped to get those two supers, and then just really nice to conveniently trade one right away to it for that 4 GT. Of course, I'm a Beetle collector, so I had to pick up a couple of those. That big motor's kind of neat. Maybe I could use it for a custom and something. So that's pretty cool. So that's it for uh, D-Case. Um, I did also get some other mail. I found, I got, this was an eBay $5 challenge. I was just looking on eBay for something I can get $5 shipped to my house and came across this Firebird. So that's a score for me. Um, pretty sweet green light, uh, entertainment series it says but I don't even know what series it's really from Z machines or something so that's pretty cool to get that um, got this auto world ultra red firebird from at collect diecast on Instagram gave me a really good deal on this one ten bucks shipped to my house it's got a little crease in the car but that does not bother me any and I already do have one of these loose but uh, I don't know I might crack this one too I'm not sure but I really dig Firebirds, you guys know that, and uh, that's a pretty cool get. Um, found a couple green machines. Found this one early in the week. It's pretty cool. It's got a snow plow on it, which is fitting because it's been snowing here like crazy, at least for the last couple days. So that's pretty neat. Got the snow plow and the salt spreader there. Pretty cool. So I found that green machine, not sure exactly if I'm going to trade it or what. And uh, I also found this 124 scale, Eleanor. This is definitely for trade or for sale. Um, I just do not collect anything in 124 scale. Straight up, strictly 164 or somewhat close to 164. I just don't collect anything in the scale, I just do not have a room for it, so this is for trade or for sale or for something if somebody wants to offer me something for this let me know and uh, so there's that I picked up this uh, Lamborghini Aventador from Hobby Lobby pretty cool Mesto exotic every once in a while that I see, come across the cool one of these and I always pick them up because they're kind of neat so 40% off of 4 dollars wasn't too bad to pick that up so that's pretty cool and then last uh, but not least I got a package in the mail from an eBay seller that was is selling a collection of loose cars uh, a bunch of loose pieces all in mint condition for really reasonable buy it now prices and combined shipping rates um, so I picked up this variation of the pink pearl beetle because so I collect this casting this beetle casting I already had the uh, basic wheels variation so this is the uh, seven spoke so it's pretty cool to get that um, got this hot one series beetle that one's fairly newer it's like 2012 I think the hot one series was and then I got a couple of Porsche 959's this is the parking plates one this one looks really really nice really really good shape um, then I got these two these were mainline ones 
got this one, this purple one, and then the Hot Ones wheels, wheel variation. So I picked up those two loose. I have both of these carded, so it's cool now to get uh, loose pieces. Um, then I just picked up this uh, Jaguar XJ220 with gold Hot Ones, which I kind of like this casting a lot too, and I'm starting to kind of collect it. So it's just a casting that I played with a lot when I was a little kid which uh, same as the 959 is one of those, and of course the Beetle is one of those. Um, so I really like those castings that I used to play with when I was a little a wee little guy. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, it was actually quite an excellent week. Um, thanks again, Frank, for sending me that awesome box. Um, thanks to that eBay seller that sold those cars. Thanks to Toys R Us for uh, keeping my the addiction alive and actually stocking stuff. My Walmart's absolutely stink right now so yeah it is what it is so there's that uh thank you guys for watching another uh, great week of uh, acquiring more stuff and uh you guys have an excellent day